Hello fellow cinephiles, film guru here. Today I'm reviewing The Father. This was written and directed by Florin Zeller and based upon the play of the same name. The film stars Anthony Hopkins, Olivia Coleman, Imogen Poots, Rufus Swell, Olivia Williams and Mark Gattis. It really follows the story of Anthony, played by Anthony Hopkins, an aging man who must deal with his progressing memory loss. He's suffering from dementia. He slips in and out of memories. He's confused by identity, disorientated, and the effect that that's having on him and his family. It also looks at his daughter, played by Olivia Coleman, who's there looking after her father and trying to make sure he's okay and trying to decide what needs to happen for his future. As his dementia slowly gets worse and worse, really about the relationship between these two, the, uh, the dementia itself and the effect it's having on both of them. I was really impressed with this film. I thought it was such an interesting and engaging film, well written, put together and directed. Florin Zeller, which I haven't really heard of before, he's done a fantastic job here. To, to take something that he did, a play, and ultimately expand it into a movie is really fantastically realized. This is probably one of the best adaptations from a play to a movie that I've ever seen. I was thoroughly engaged and immersed in the story. Florin's skill here as director is to take a play and turn it into a movie and keep that movie engaged, even though the film takes place ultimately in one apartment and how he goes about doing that. That due to Anthony's memory loss and confusion, they are ultimately able to play with time and things within the apartment that can change certain aspects of it. So it keeps it sort of engaging and new and fresh each time we, we see into the apartment. And the use of the apartment, where there's long hallways and different areas that you can go and, and the way this film makes a really engaging film. All the acting is brilliant. I think Olivia Coleman's really great here. I didn't always feel a sense of her anguish, but I think she does a really great job here in her performance. Just her frustration to things, her sadness, the way her father treats her, and, and not knowing what to do and, and not knowing the best way to help him. And she does the best that she can. But she struggles with his disease and struggles with the way he acts out due to the frustration of what he's feeling and going through. I think Olivia Williams is good here. She's an actress I like in a variety of other things, but she's only a small role, but I really like her performance here. I think she she's, adds a lot to the small scenes that she's in, and she has some really great scenes, scenes with Anthony Hopkins. I think Imogen Poots is really great. Like Olivia Williams, she's in a small role, but there's something infectious about her. There's something intriguing about her, and she serves a small purpose in the film, which I really like. Rufus Swell, I haven't seen in a while. He's solid here, so is Mark Gaddis. The centerpiece to this film, what, re what really sucks you and makes you feel for the story that's happening here is Anthony Hopkins' performance. He's fantastic here. One of the best performances he's had in his career. And I love the fact that he's been given such, since Silence of the Lambs, he's given such great and intriguing performances that even in his older age, he's really at the top of his game and delivers such a powerful performance. It's a nuanced performance. There's moments of quietness, there's moments of rage, there's moments of playing with people and the way he talks and he's very energetic and, and excited and fun. But it also looks at this, the sadness of the character and the confusion and the frustration that comes out of his confusion. It's just a really mesmerizing performance and he really deserves a nomination he's got for his performance here. I think he's fantastic, especially towards the end of the film. The last scene in the film is just so powerful. What I like about his character is we get to see the whole movie pretty much from his point of view. It's his focus. We get to see things he experiences and sees and, and how things change around him. He's not quite sure. And we feel a bit confused by what's going on, which represents his confusion, which I thought was really great. There's this whole focus on this watch. He has this watch. When he can't find it, he feels lost. And then when he does have it, he feels a bit more content with himself. I think the, the watch is a great metaphor and a representation of time, literal time. Not just telling the time, but the fact that when he doesn't have it, he feels like he's lost time. He can't see it, he can't control the time. When he has the watch, it's ultimately these moments of clarity and he sees things for what they are and he understands and he's present. I think that's a really great aspect to the film and a little, little tiny thing that they put in there I thought was really clever. But it's just, the whole film's just this amalgamation of memories and thoughts and present and past and it all sort of clumps together. Memories start to get confused 
and he starts to put them together in a way that doesn't quite make sense to him. And he ultimately, it adds more to his feeling of lost and confusion. The film also does shift focus in a little way to Olivia Coleman's character, where we're seeing things from her point of view as well. Throughout the film, there's multiple scenes at play a couple of times in different ways, just to give you a sense of what's happening and the different perspectives that these, these scenes and shots take on when they're looked in different ways. For a film that is completely set in one room, ultimately is just fantastic to watch and really sucks you in. You really care for this, this man, you feel for him, but you also feel for his daughter and the struggles that she feels in regards to it. It's just such a fantastically made film, beautifully shot and executed, and I think Florenzella has done a fantastic job here. Final thoughts. Ultimately, in the end, it sort of looks at the effects that dementia has, not only the person who's going through it, but also the family members, the people who have to look after him, and the effects that that has on them as well. I'm going to give The Father four and a half out of five. I thought this was fantastic, one of the best films of the year, and I was really impressed with it. It's just a really powerful and some, somewhat devastating film about a man losing his mind. Anyway, that's all for me today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please subscribe down the bottom, follow me on Facebook. Otherwise, until next time, enjoy the movies. Thank you.